so I did what I had to do. When you start reading the Bible with understanding, it is the same thing. I mean, if you say, well, if you're trying to equate men with the, that bestiality that animals have, we're talking about people that may be called, we call them fleshly people. In other words, they do whatever the flesh want them to do. They are guided by fleshly people. That's yeah. where you come in with people that are mass murderers. And going back to the same type of people, the rapists and everything else. These people deal with the flesh. Yeah. With God, he have us to deal, to the best of our ability, with the spirit. It doesn't mean that I'm any better than anybody else, but I try to act different than these other people. I just don't, I, I just have a hard time getting over you saying that it's a choice because I know for me, if I were to, to walk in a room and there were two beds and there was a male in a bed and a female in a mm -hmm. bed, it would be, it's, it's not a choice for me. I'll walk to the female because I, I, have, no, I have nothing against homosexuals. Mm -hmm. But I just I can't understand it. I can't get across it. I can't get a, a past the gross factor. But yeah. I, I don't have a problem. You know, I, I have gay friends. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's not a choice. For me, it's not. You know, I'm going to walk to the female. It's not even an option on my mind. But but, but as you say, is it a gross practice? Well, well, to me. But I mean, so is so, some some other fetishes that I see, mm -hmm. or, or or people that I think are unattractive, or think of your parents. Mm -hmm. your, your parents engaging in sexual activity mm -hmm. is gross to you. Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's wrong? You, you have it's to. Uh, you ha exactly. You you have to you have to put your own uh, you know feelings aside. Now, what I'm saying is, it, it's not even a choice to me to to, to pass up the the mail because mm -hmm. it, it's just nothing yes. in me to do that. Right. So, homosexuals they they have that feeling towards the male and towards the opposite sex. I mean. They, they, you ask a homosexual, a majority of homosexuals, and they say they felt those tendencies from when they were three or four years old. And when you were three or four years old, you know, you weren't thinking about a choice you were going to make. But have you, but we have an issue of question you realize that there are things called wicked spirits. These wicked spirits, of course, are demons. Uh, we know demons now cannot have relationships with women as they... Uh, they they as can't? They cannot. Oh, okay. And like a, so... Like a succubus? Huh? Like a succubus? Well... That was a female that yeah, spirit but, that seduced them out. Well, what they do now, they get as close to us, humans, as possible. Yeah. Some of the... Most of the gross, inhumane, sick things that you see <coughs> are caused by them. Now, when you say gross, what do you mean? The rapes, the murders, the ones pedophiles. that... Pedophiles. Pedophiles, you know. But even even with pedophilia, I mean, it, as bad as that is, and, and I, I believe to a certain extent it, it, it's something that you know is wrong and you should get help before that, that interferes with your life if you have that tendency. But that, that's a good example because what happens to the majority of, uh, or at least um, a good part of, of children who were abused at a young age? They grow older and, and, and they're, they're more likely to abuse. Sure, if they don't get help. Yeah. But the problem is, come, it's going to come back to the same thing. But that shows how, you know, biologically, it, 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 it shows how it could, it could change. Because that's not it's natural to... It's a learned behavior. Right, it is. That, that, that's a learned behavior. Yeah. yeah. You will find women, especially in wartime other times too, that have been raped. Yeah. It is one of the most difficult things for them to get over. Yeah. You know, it is... Some of them cannot walk out in the street by themselves yeah. because of it. Yeah, I've, I've had quite a few friends. But so you understand. So with that, when a person is able to the best of their ability and with us, anytime we do anything, say anything, we pray to God for help. If something happens to us, our only comfort is praying to God. With his strength, it will not take the thing away from us. But it will put us, help us put it in its proper perspective. Yeah. Okay. It's the same thing with, like you said, homosexuality, 
people that practice bestiality and all this. It's easy for a person to say, well, I did it because I was born this way. Fine. But the point yeah. is, is that the truth? I, you see, I, I think it is because the, the, the scientific facts are coming out. That, I mean, what, what th this is, just, just watch this for a second. This is a short one. It's only seven minutes. And this is kind of, it's hard for me to, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the words, like, you know, I'm, the, I'm not a scientist. But it, this will kind of give you a better understanding of, of what I'm talking about. This five-week milestone could be another stage where identical twins Jesus. develop key differences oh, before they're even born. Yeah. Uh, could you just take it back just a hair? I want you. What, what, what are you trying to? I, I thought you said something that uh, right there. Okay. I think it's here. Oh, this is National Geographic. The book okay. is out, by the way. Where identical twins develop key differences before they're even born. No, I think it's a bit farther back. Samson and his sister. You, know, you, you, you can read all this if you yeah. like. Uh, but I, 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 maybe I, maybe, maybe I. And while while you're doing this now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now back to he's. I thought he said could be. So that is not. Could could be what. Didn't it? He was saying, could be? Can you scroll back? Yeah. To where he was. To the pit. Yeah. Yeah. So that is. No, I understand what you're saying. But just, it, it explains everything. Big milestone could be another stage where identical twins develop key differences be? yeah. before so they're that's even that's born. A fact, is it? What's that? That's not a fact, is it? Could be. Well, well, no, but that's not how, how science works. I mean, you can't. If you go, it's a, you have to understand what a study is. If you, you can't go, and this is a study, you can't go into a study asserting absolute fact. But when, when you do a study and, you know, you, you have like seven different here, 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 and then three, four, and six linked together. Okay. You know what I mean? Let me, I, I, I don't want to cut you short, but let me ask you this. Between Genesis and Revelation, yeah. did you find any contradictory or something that is not oh, a fact? Oh, absolutely. Well, what, what did you find that was not a fact? Well, like I mentioned last time, the art. Um, one, one thing I, I was talking about with him, uh -huh. with, uh, you, you look at a woodlouse. I picked one up the other day and I, I was looking at it in my hand. There's, and then I, sh I showed him that the, the, the other, uh, there, there, it's, it's the exact same bug. It's a woodlouse, but it, it lives under the ocean at the bottom of the sea. It's about this big. And then there's another one. It's a parasite. It looks just the same, except it only gets a couple inches and it lives in the in fish's mouth. It's the same animal. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, I mean, you can look at the one in the ocean and the smaller version on land. It's obviously the same animal. And then uh, it goes to, like, how, how did that, how did the deep sea, um, creatures, how did how did those get saved on the ark? What? The, 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 the they didn't say that. The Bible never said that because you remember you, they were in water. You had fish, you had sharks. Yeah, you had but all that, that would be destroyed with the flood because I've, 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 had a salt, I've had a saltwater the, tank though and I've no, poured no, no, fresh water the, in there. The, no, no. the land, they said the land. They didn't say anything about the ocean. How would, how would the, the land be flooded and the ocean would not be flooded? Isn't that a contradiction? No. How do you explain that? When it rains, where do it rain? It rains all over the ocean and land everywhere. Oh, I didn't know that. It rains all over the ocean and land everywhere. I didn't know that. It rains all over the ocean and land everywhere. I didn't know that. Uh, now, when it was speaking about that, when you read this, it tells us that the land, the people, Basically, was I mean the man was flooded, but the basically was getting rid of all these people. Uh, I, Fish was still living. That, that it's not possible. That's a contradiction because I've had a saltwater tank. Like, it, and it's what very you, sensitive. So if if, I, if that were a saltwater tank and I were to pour this cup you, of fresh water in you're there, from, happy you're from originally from where? Louisiana. Okay, now have you ever seen? I heard of crocodiles that live 
you know, fresh water and found them in the sea. Oh uh, yeah, the, it's it's natural though. That's, Can they live? The, 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 there's also um, bull sharks. Yeah, they've been found in the Mississippi. Yeah, so but that's fresh that, water, isn't it? That, that's 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 one species that's evolved to to doing both. Well, no. <laughs> you're not gonna give me a chance to argue. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is that when you read, there's nothing. Th there I'm is. not gonna be funny, you know. There is the contradiction. What? Though. What is the contradiction? Um. With the, the DNA variation um, between um, uh, okay, pretty much uh, okay. It says every animal is is created in its present form, right? Go ahead. What do you say? If that is so, then the animals on the ark, the the the, the amount of animals on the ark, would have had to evolve into the the multitude of animals we have today. So either you believe that the animals evolved. Or they, that, that literally every single species that we, we haven't even discovered yet has been put on the ark. I mean, there, there's millions and like millions and millions of different types of spiders. Okay. Did Noah go and catch every type of spider and no. put it on the ark? No. Uh, when you read this now, it tells you that. Well, let me put it like this. Horses. Do. Horses adapt. They adapt. Mm -hmm. all, all life adapts. Yeah. So that meant that you could have a male, female horse, yeah. and by re re uh, reproduction, they have others, and they will travel, and some of them will grow a heavier coat. Yeah. Why? Because of climate, right? Yeah, over yeah. a long period of time. Yeah. Uh, this is the same thing with the different animals. Um, but yet, but you don't we we don't find the animals that exist right now. We don't find those in any any fossil record. We don't find poodles and and, and parrots and chickens next to the Cambrian fossils. So have you found a, a human fossil? What about it? Have you found one? Uh, me per I mean, uh, we found plenty of human fossils, yeah. But uh, what, I, what I'm saying is, is the, the way the, the the way they determine, you know, pretty much how old is. There's layers of the Earth. Like, there's a fossil layer right here, and uh, they have like the, the Cambrian explosion, which were were like um, things like like mollusk type things, or or um, things like a horseshoe crab. Im imagine that. They're, they're animals like that, and then they have. A different layer of animals, and then you have like reptiles and mammals, and, and everything yeah. is layered. And 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 as we go deeper, the, it's simpler and simpler. Now humans and, and recent animals, they're just like here in this layer. We don't find humans and poodles and and parrots down uh, when only simple organisms were well, alive. Well, you have to remember, the Earth is over four billion years old. Over. You can read the Bible and tell you that. Where where's that at? What? Four billion years old. Well, it said over because it said well, that. Where do you say that? Because we know that the Earth is. Scientists tell you the Earth is over four billion you, years you old. You say you can read it in the Bible. No, but what I meant to say is that what you're reading here is to tell you how he created the Earth. Then when he created the Earth, the Earth, scientists would tell you it's over four billion years old, mm -hmm. right? 